So I'm going to take two minutes to explain the tools that I took with me on this bike uh, around the world. A couple of rules. One thing is don't go by what I say. If, you, if there's a tool you think you should take, take it. I'm of the thinking go lighter, go less, and you can generally find tools anywhere in the world that you need. Second rule is you'll always have every tool that you don't need. The one that you didn't bring, that's the one you'll need. That's just the way life goes. But again, refer to rule number one. Tools are everywhere in the world. Parts, different story. Third, no negative criticisms. This is just my opinion. If you don't like my opinion, don't follow it. If you don't like my channel, unfollow it. Uh, let's go, two minutes, tools, let's do this. These are the tools that I used on my trip. So, first of all, at the bottom, 22 and a 27 wrench. These are closed end wrenches for the tire. It's a tire iron, but this also works for the rear shock absorber to remove it, I believe. Uh, flathead screwdriver. Get a big, nice screwdriver that's good quality so it doesn't, you know, wear. And uh, you can also use a bigger screwdriver for prying and also to get more purchase on a seized screw. Phillips head screwdriver, same story. A series of closed and open-ended box wrenches with ratchets. Oh, so good. Um, now the sizes that I bring here is I bring a 15, actually two 15s, two 14s, because this is a 15 and a 14, 13, 12, 10, two eights, and a six. I forget what I use the eights for, but. So the 15 and the 14 are for the SW Motec skid plates. Needle nose pliers for small fingers, for getting into things, for getting purchase on something invaluable. Larger bull nose pliers. Both of them have snips for cutting wires and snapping stuff off, zip ties, etc. 3 8 socket wrench. Uh, just a socket wrench, enough said. Um, and then for the socket wrench, I also have a variety of socket socket heads and hex wrenches. So the socket heads goes 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and an 18 for the spark plug. I have an extension for the socket. 3 8 little, I think this is a two inch extension. That nah, doesn't matter. And then I also have hex heads for the socket. Uh, this is a four, six, eight, no, four, five, six, eight. Uh, and I also caught carry a three. This is for my GPS mount. I uh, also carry a T-handle, three-eighths T-handle. Analog tire pressure gauge. Digital tire pressure gauge. Most valuable player here is the vice grips. Vice grips are most the most valuable player because you can use these as a wrench, as I do for taking off the rear tire on the opposite side that when I when I'm using the tire iron, and also you can use it as a clamp. You can use it to grip stuff to pull. You can uh, use this to pick your nose. You can do it a lot of very very important things. Vice grips are, are just an essential tool. So now that we've gone with the most essential tool, what could I have gotten rid of? I would get rid of the socket and I would get rid of the socket extension. The T-handle is probably the second most valuable player. Um, it, it has two options, so you can really get into things, so you don't really need an extension with this long handle. Put it on there and twist, and then if you need a little more purchase, it has one here, so you have a really good torque. I've never, actually I don't think I've ever used the, uh, this, so that's why I'm setting it aside. So those are the tools.